Hello everyone, welcome back again. No more, I just can't laugh. Oh. Uh, this particular video you're about to watch, Jesse Kenny posted it entitled it How Not to Snatch Someone Else's Husband. And she went ahead with all what she said. <laughs> even to the extent she even talked about uh, how she met, you know, a lot of lemon. So guys, I would like you to stay tuned, watch, and please drop your opinion in the comment section. Thank you so much and God bless you. It's a bit long, but please just take your time. Be patient and listen to our lecturer of the day. <laughs> Thank you guys. Hi, my lovers. Yes, I said it before that I'll be teaching each and every one of you how not to snatch anybody's husband. I know a lot of people are going to say, what is she going to say? Somebody that snatched somebody's husband. Why did she want to lecture us? What does she have to say? If not, she's going to say trash okay this is it i am not going to say trash i did not snatch anybody's husband and that is it okay number one is and a lot of people a lot of people are dating married men hmm. you can't tell me no you can't tell me i've never done it before a lot of you are dating married men and that let me tell you now this is it this is it dating married men is not the issue the issue is are you in love with this married man a lot of girls date married man if they date married men and still fall in love with married men now where do you want him to keep his wife where do you want him to keep his wife if you're dating a married man just know that the reason why this man is in your life hmm, is probably you just want to have you know something to do with you something to do with you or he just wants to help you grow and why why did i say help you grow because a lot of we ladies hmm, we are just there for the bag at the point where we are there for some people are there because ah this man get more new at least he will help me one or two things my school my house rent and all that the moment this man has start spending for you the next thing you're not going to do is fall in love. Do you know something I, I tell people in this life? Hmm? In this life, men are cheaters. You get, so you can't stop it from them. Whether, if you like, let's suppose my husband is a lawyer man. It's not working that way. That your husband have another person is knocking. And that is fact. So don't, don't add sin to your husband. I believe him, I believe him. you cannot do, you cannot do. Now, there they see say, person don't get belly for your husband. Your eye will clear. But I'm not going to that part. The thing is that, when you are dating a married man, some people, their wife are not always in the country. Some people, their wife are in this Nigeria with them. This Nigeria with them, their wife dating with them. And at the end of the day, you end up dating this man. Now, dating me is not my own problem. My problem is, you now fall in love with this man and get this and get pregnant for this man. And at the end of everything that is painful, you not tell the man to divorce his wife. Or I'm pregnant for you. And the man says, Oh no, 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 no. Don't. You not say no no no. Like one girl like that, she was asking me for an advice, telling me that eh, she's pregnant for a married man. What should I do? I said, first thing you did was you made a very big mistake by getting pregnant. He has a wife. It's like this wife has children. It's just as if you want to scatter their home. And now, what are you telling this man? She said she told the man that the man should rent an apartment for her and come and take care of his responsibility. And the man said, No, no, you're not married. I said, That father, that man told you, that's it. He never loved you for marriage. He never loved you for marriage. He only wants to keep himself busy with you. And that is why you are in the picture. So don't be so stupid to go and now fall in love with a married man and now get pregnant for a married man. How not to snatch someone's husband? If you are dating a married man and you think the best thing to do is to fall in love and get pregnant, you fail. 
A lot of ladies now, they think that baffle me the most is a lot of ladies now think they can use pregnancy to hold a man. Like how? Who does that? Is it in your dictionary? I've been a God right and for Bible because me, I don't understand where that is done. If you think you're gonna use pregnancy to hold a man, that was then. That was then. Now you know the work. If you think you can use pregnancy to hold a man, he will go and get married and give his wife pregnant just to have his own child. Abiafa. So for people that are dating a man without sense, I'm giving you sense now. Let me tell you, don't say, eh, why can't she teach people not to snatch somebody's husband? Or not, not to, why can't she teach people not to, not, for, not, for them not to date a married man? Let me tell you something. This generation we are, you know they work. How many people do you want to advise? Does not work. Does not work. As David is there right now, if David don't want to do whatever I want to do with any woman, that's his business. That is his business. In as much as he's not rubbing it on my face, like you want to date a girl, you now bring her to this house. It's not gonna work now. It's not gonna work. Like a lot of people are saying, but you intrude um in, intrude somebody's home. I did not. I did not. I and David have met for a very long time. Like when Mary was saying, eh, you were knocking now. Okay, fine. When we were knocking, were you there? The period we were knocking, does did he even know you? Some people say Joy is back to get what belongs to her. Joy is back to get her man. No, I am not fighting because of anybody because of the man. It's none of my business. David and I have known for a very long time. So there's nothing new about him again that is sweeting or, you know, oh, I want to know. There's nothing new. My own is that, in as much as I'm not claiming, oh, I've date him before anybody or have met him before anybody or this 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 i am not doing all of that in as much as they got married to you in this house the same way they got married to me i traveled and that was how everything started which i'm not here to blame anybody i did not invade anybody's home do you understand i did not so back to our discussion if a man is married and he comes to you and said oh i like you i love you ask him he has to ask question are you married if you say yes that's okay fine if you are loving me you like me where is your wife me i used to ask questions like that though that's some people think oh this guy is rude this guy i'm not rude though now question i ask do you understand so that is me. If you are married, where are you now going? If you are loving me, how far your wife? Why you would they love me? You leave your wife. Some people say, oh, she's not in this country. And hey, why you know if you wait for America? Uh, then I say, uh uh, you know now. Even my wife self knows how they knock. Do you understand? It happens. It happens. In as much I'm, as I'm here, I came to lemon you understand and we both met back again it, you know we both connect back to each other apart from him with being married i have never dated a married man before i have never dated a married man before even if i want to say <laughs> let me just say okay oh to him oh we will not knock because i feel somehow won't and that is me that is me the fact that i came back here is because i came back there was nobody that is number one there was nobody the house was already crumbling the house was not a house anymore the marriage was not a marriage anymore this house was a living hell already and i came everyone was at peace 
then you see me cherishing this person because I've known him. So I know, I know he's a loving person. You don't expect me to start reacting. He has always been a loving person. So you, you don't expect me to come back and start, I, then start from where you stop by throwing this, doing this blah, blah, blah. You don't expect me to do that. I've known him for a very long time and he has been my, my backbone. When I mean my backbone, because when I don't have a boyfriend, you don't have a girlfriend, we're like very close. We connected very quick and very smooth. Not that he does not love you, he do love you. But sometimes a character of a woman cannot keep her in the home. And that is the fact. A character of a woman can never ever keep you in a home. I don't know who needs to hear this, but I'm telling you the truth. If you like, even if you are finer than Beyonce, your character cannot keep you. What a man needs is peace of mind. To so everybody out there that are married, hmm? and you nag too much, you nag too much, you nag, it's not going to help you keep your marriage. If you're nagging, there is somebody out there that is giving you peace of mind. I see sometimes it's not coming home. Sometimes any small thing just carries back and go because there is somebody out there that gives him peace of mind. If I'm doing bad, I know I'm doing bad. If I'm doing good, I know I'm doing good. I know myself. When a man finds peace here, trust me, I don't care the diamond you are giving him or the gold. He will move out and go to where he's having his peace of mind. If you want to win a man's heart, no, they say a food is um I don't they score that thing say a man's heart is food that be food is in. I don't even understand how they say that thing. Not only that though, if you like give him all the best food in the world, in as much and he's not having peace of mind, that food go choke him. Imagine you are serving him a food, a bowl of um, let me say a bowl of um, um, or her or banga soup with starch and this man saw the food and he was happy to sit down wash his hands to eat this food and at that moment when he was about to eat or when he's already eating you bring out your wahala ah, is he gonna eat that food again it's never gonna eat it again but once you serve him you are either gisting him or you are playing one lovely movie for him or anything there is peace of mind. Some ladies does not know how to keep their home. I'm not even talking about Mary. I'm talking about most of us here on this comment section. Most of us here that are doing fans, fans, fans. All of us, we don't. Some of us don't know how to keep our home. Nobody to come here the type. Oh, no, no, savvy keep on our home. Most of you, real women, hmm, has collected your man. She understand? Women has collected your men. Why? Because you don't give him peace of mind. You think everything is all about nagging. You think everything is all about shouting. But trust me, it's not that. It's not that. If key to a man's heart is food, hmm, then what? Where are you keeping the peace of mind? A man can be eating your food every day. Mm? And he does not have peace of mind. He's just looking for a way to japa. Uma japa, he will run and leave you alone. And there is nothing you will do. There is nothing you will do. There was one period the lady said I should interview her. <laughs> Before I, I didn't ever interview her till date. If I had interviewed her, people could have seen it. She said I should. Um, is it interview? I should interview her. Then at the same time, prank her then invite her husband why because of her bad character she did something that is bad i thought okay what do you tell me your story she did a lot of voice but i was tired of listening she said she has three kids if you see this lady she not too tall and so she she never talk very short not too short sir, but at least i'm taller than her she had three kids. You will not know she had three kids too. She started with 
I got married to my husband and um, things were working fine. At the moment, he does not have money and I was tired of staying. But I endured shower. I got pregnant for one, two, and they told him. In short, things became worse. I did not, I wasn't comfortable anymore in that house. All I wanted to do was look for my daily bread. When you are married. Okay, fine. And I asked, okay, where, what daily bread? Where do you go and look for the daily bread? Because I want to know. She said she started working in a club. <clears throat> my kind of friend is going to say club. And from there, she met a man. The man started giving her loads of money. Because nobody going to say she won. That's just the thing about her. Then she brought the money to the house. Like she used to cook, you know, they would eat. The husband started feeling bad. Because it's always normal for men. The moment the women are bringing money, especially when he's an evil man, he does not like it. Not that he does not, if, he's, if she's working, like, selling like something and you know she's selling is good and again if she's working working we're a responsible place to work she will know not that club is not responsible for you to work but depending on why you are there she it will be happy but at this point he knew she was working in the club and they've not paid you salary so how are you getting your money he said she said the lady the man sat her and asked babe i know things are hard i know you're looking for daily bread for us well, you did not pay the salary. How did you get your money? It's a very simple question for you to answer it simple. Hey, hey. She said she started shouting at him. Why are you asking? To her now she's right because she's explaining to me. So she's telling me what she's really saying to this man. You that you are jobless. Blah, blah, blah. What do you expect me to do? I went to look for my daily bread. Blah, blah, blah. Do you want my kids to starve? Okay, fine. I am not shouting at you. Where do you get the money? She's there. She busts out and said, it's a man like you that gave me the money. If it's me, it hurts me. Oh, the man wept. She said, the man, her husband cried and said, Even if it was a man, you should not rub it on my face. You know, I love you and I love the kids. I'm not just sitting, I look for jobs and I pray they call me. I, will, I don't even want, I was on that say you should not work because I don't want you to work. He's getting that. You see that? No, if you like look for work, if you like don't look for work, it's none of my business. I'm, as long as I'm get, bringing money for my children, if you like, if I could not eat it, it's, you will be on, you will starve on it. This man's, you know, this thing keep happening, keep happening, keep happening. Sometimes she said she sometimes that um, the man will drop her, and her husband will sit and ask her question. She will tell her husband that, eh, hey, if you want me to pack, I will pack. So obviously you want to pack. I I, I told her. Of the, after she said that, because I don't want her to lie on the story, because so after she said it, I told her. Then the husband said, why will you park? And where are you taking the children to? If you park, where do you, eh, I will park and I will get my own apartment. So told, obviously they planned the shan, the man that, that comes to the back. And she said that was how she parked. The man rented an apartment for her, the man in the club. Gave her money. Everything. But how long? Her husband finally, after some months, he got a job and is now living. He had to pack away from that their house to another bigger place. Because his job, I think, is a contract job, she said. This man started living fine. Now, he has his money now. He needs his children. They were nowhere to be found. Do you know happiness? Of course, but you know before I would now. He got a girl. A young pretty girl they started dating from dating she became the fiance from fiance they got married from there she's pregnant at the moment after all your arrogancy and everything you came back to that house they told you your husband has packed out you started looking for him and at the end of the day the place you saw your husband with the lady coming out from his gate as his house you were shot. Now, what do you want me to do? She said, I should now prank and tell her husband to come over so that when he sees his kids, his mind will reset. I said, Let me tell you something. For me, oh, not that I will not, I can't do it, though, but I'm not going to do it. Do you know why? You are at fault in every time. This is your cross for you to carry. I have woman sympathy. Oh. I feel for people. I make sure people don't go through stress. But I will tell you the truth. This man needed you. And do you know what men do? They need somebody when they, especially when they have nothing. 
Not that this man does not have vision. He has his vision that he wants to use to complete his mission. But you weren't there to cheer him, cheer him up. There is a, there's how you will cheer a man up. Eh? The man, eh, even if you cheer him up at the end of the day and see the normal, even when you see, babe, I want to leave, I want to go and find something, you go and find something to do. When this man loads, eh, and even if you are, you run away from them, you find you because one, you were there when you had nothing. So, you people wait for part two. Because Tim Martin, so if I'm talking, you see, can come in. Okay, so sweet. And for those that want to cost me on the comment section, go ahead and cost me. For those that want to do anything, go ahead and do it on that comment section because I know you people mouth is long like my own. My mm, mouth is not even long, it's small. So guys, um, in case you have any question, you want me to answer anything, on the comment section, I'll be reading everybody's comment section to know what and what you want me to talk about. Because me, you see this is my brain. If I start talking, most of you that have bad character in relationship with in marriage, in friendship, all of them are going to Alright guys, what do you think about this particular video? Hey, <laughs> oh my goodness. What an advice. But anyway guys, just drop your opinion in the comment section. I will really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching my video and God bless you. Thanks to my old subscribers. Thank you so, so, so much. I appreciate God richly bless you all for me. My new subscribers, oh, you guys are all the best. Thank you so, so, so much. Please, if you've not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe, please. Thank you for doing that. God bless you all. I love you all. And I'll see you in the next song. Bye for now.